So, hi Rahul. So, can you introduce yourself for my audience? Hi Kira. Hi. Hi. Um, hi to your audience as well. My name is Rahul, and now I'm a senior member of Aero MIT. I started off my life and career, if you'd like to say, in Aero MIT in the advanced drone research subsystem. But consequently, I, I shifted to the management subsystem. Now, Aero MIT was created as a place for people who had a passion for flight. It was founded all the way back in 2009 by a group of engineering students who envisioned a platform for people who shared the same passion. This was the place where people who loved flying RC aircrafts came together. Over the years, we have grown into the official aero modeling and drone racing team of MAE that designs and fabricates RC UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles. We currently consist of over 30 undergraduate students who come from a wide range of disciplines. We're not only limited to aeronautical students, as many people would think. So we have students from all branches. For example, I'm from automobile. Some of my teammates are from CS, IT, CC, like it's, it's all everything, even electrical, like basically everything. So Rahul, thanks for the introduction and I hope everyone understood what AeroMIT is. Now let's move on forward and can you tell us about the different subsystems in AeroMIT and how you all work? Yeah, okay. So we have, our team basically has five main subsystems which work together very intensely on every single project that we take on. Each subsystem is led by their respective subsystem heads who is responsible for the working and functioning of the subsystems. We have five main subsystems, um, which are management, advanced drone research, commonly known as ADR. So what ADR does is they do extensive work on unmanned aerial vehicles or autonomous unmanned aerial vehicles known as drones. Um, these drones are then made fit for real world application by using concepts such as machine learning, as well as intensive image processing. Management ensures the smooth functioning of the team through clever and efficient logistics handling. They, mandle, they manage various social media handles, finance the team, as well as very importantly, acquiring sponsorships from a vast source of industry contacts. The aerodynamic subsystem of Aero MIT designs the RC aircrafts that we build. They test a lot of experimental builds to better understand the concepts and documents the design process of every single aircraft that we build. So structure and composites subsystem are the highly skilled workforce of our team. These guys are basically the hands that put together all the plans that we think of. And most of the designs that they build are given to them by the aerodynamic subsystem. The composite materials that they use in their builds include fiber reinforced polymers such as carbon fiber, glass fiber, as well as hybrid fabrics. The research and development subsystem bring their speciality to the table through innovative flu and fluid thinking. They churn out research papers every year and their normal novel ideas are sometimes even implemented on our own build to solve problems we face. So Rahul, can you now tell us about the competitions your team has taken part in and what are your future plans about, uh, you know, more competitions? Okay, so AeroMIT participates in various aero modeling and drone racing competitions held in India as well as abroad. In these competitions, we are challenged to develop an aircraft within the constraints of a given problem statement. What does this mean? It means that we try to fulfill certain mission requirements and obtain the highest score possible. This year, we secured podium finishes in various international competitions as well as several domestically held competitions. To name some of the competitions that we won prizes in were SAE Aero Design held in Lakeland, Florida in the US, as well as Tech Fest in IIT Bombay and Aerophilia in Mangalore. Every year, we take part in this Aero Design competition organized by SE International. And for the last 10, for the last five years, we have consistently ranked amongst the top 10 teams in the world. This year, we achieved our best ever overall result of world rank four, along with first prize in the technical presentation. Oh. It was an extremely successful season for us. So like it was really nice to hear about how your team has been achieving so many prizes and everything, even at the international level. So now talking about your future plans. So you have certainly, your team has certainly achieved a lot of great things, but what are your plans for the next batch for the 2020 to 2021 batch? Okay. 
So one of the first things we at Aero MIT like doing is we want to enjoy the work that we do. So um, whenever anybody joins our club, one of the first things we like to do is we try to inculcate the magic of flying in them. Like we want them to develop an in immense passion for flying. Apart from taking part in several cutthroat competitions, what we also do is we have frequent flying sessions where we test our experimental builds. This season, hopefully, if things work out, we will also organize Sky Rush, which is held in our technical fest at Tatwa. But from the looks of it, that could be a little hard to do. Yeah. And we are also looking to collaborate with OnePlus Manipal on several other workshops. In fact, last year we conducted a workshop on aerodynamics where a huge number of people came and took part. Things like this are great, not only for the team, but also for like the members of the team because people have to learn how to teach each other like things we're passionate about. Like it's very important that you're not only learning, but you're also dispensing this knowledge and giving back to the student community of Manipal. This season, we also take on the ambitious project of attempting a new problem statement at SAE Aero Design. We hope that the current world situation improves and that we can pa participate and maintain our current stellar record. But apart from that, we still would like to approach and take part in the advanced class of SAE Aero Design, something we haven't done yet. And it's a very challenging thing to do. And we are approaching it with a lot of enthusiasm. So, Rahul, it's nice to hear that you have a lot in store planned, even though the current situation, you know, is uh, posing many difficulties for us to continue with our regular schedules. So, uh, so a lot of upcoming MIT freshers would be watching this video. So, can you talk about how they can join Aero MIT and what is your recruitment process basically? So, in these times of uncertainty, we are relying on online tools to keep our operations running remotely. We will be recruiting new members via online interviews and a written test. Our recruitments are currently open to first years who have completed their second semester. If you guys are interested, you will have to fill out the registration link given our, in our Instagram handle at AeroMIT official, that is at the rate A-E-R-O-M-I-T-O-F-F-I-C-I-A-R. Our recruitment process follows a two-step process. The first is a written test that features questions that will test your general aptitude, followed by a more technical paper that will quiz your all-round abilities as well as thinking capabilities. Once we are done with the written test, we will have our online interviews where applicants will be quizzed by seniors from the subsystem of their choice about various basic concepts about the subsystem they are applying for. Once you make it through, and I'm sure a lot of you will, we will begin right away with the task phase. So that's quite a comprehensive recruitment process and I hope the upcoming freshers who are watching this video are able to make it to your team. So uh, guys, I'll, I'll leave all the all their social media links and website blog, everything in the description so you can go check their social media out. And Rahul, it was a pleasure talking to you and yeah, have a nice day. Hey, thanks a lot, Kiran.